Body fat. Body fat has one of the biggest impacts on testosterone. A 2007 study of around 1,600 men aged 40 and above found that each one point increase in BMI was associated with a 2% decrease in testosterone. Another 2008 study of around 1,800 men ages 30 and above found that waist circumference was an even stronger predictor of low testosterone levels than BMI. A 4 inch increase in waist size increase a man's odd of having a low testosterone level by 75%. For comparison, 10 years of aging increased the odds by 36%. Fatherhood Researchers followed a group of men in the Philippines from birth and found that becoming a father leads to a big drop in testosterone, especially for those deeply involved in childcare. The more time men spend caring for their kids, the lower their testosterone levels. This suggests that the body may naturally adjust to support fatherhood by reducing hormones linked to competition and aggression. Other studies have also found that men with high testosterone levels are more likely to have marital problems and get divorced. And in one experiment, men with higher testosterone levels felt less sympathy and less need to respond to the sound of a crying baby. Steroids A study found that anabolic steroid use can seriously impact testicular function. Current users had much lower levels of INSO3 a hormone similar to testosterone that shows how well the testes are working compared to former users and those who have never used steroids. But even former users had lower INSL3 levels than never users. 0.39 versus 0.59 micrograms per liter. This suggests that steroid abuse can lead to long-term or even permanent damage to the testes, specifically the Leydig cells which are responsible for producing testosterone. Screen time A 2014 study found that rats exposed to mobile phone radiation had significantly lower testosterone levels compared to those not exposed. While more research is needed to confirm if the same applies to humans, the results raise concerns. Pollution Pollution is a broad term that includes a lot of things that can mess with your hormones, especially testosterone. From what I've seen in the research, Pollution in general does lower testosterone and harms your overall health. So I'll just give you a list of things you should avoid. Firstly, plastic. BPA, phthalate, and parabens are bad for you. Now, you should also avoid heavy metals like lead, mercury, cadmium. Some of these things can come from old pipes, batteries, and polluted water or air. Air pollution. This is particulate matter, PAA, so polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. These are in car exhausts, factory smoke, and anything that burns fuel. Breathing this stuff in regularly isn't just bad for your lungs, it can lower your testosterone. Pesticides and herbicides, so these are used in farming. Some of these chemicals can mess with your hormones, especially if you're exposed to them often. And lastly, radiation and EMF. Things like Wi-Fi phones, laptops, and power lines give off electromagnetic fields. We don't fully understand their effect yet, but early studies suggest that they might lower testosterone as well. Grass. Well, with grass, studies on marijuana and testosterone have had mixed results, but a reanalysis of the data showed that smoking even one joint or getting THC through an IV can lower testosterone levels in men. It seems that THC slows down how much testosterone your body makes or releases, and once that happens, it can take at least 24 hours for your testosterone to return to normal. Horn. So, watching adult content and self pleasuring causes quick spikes in dopamine and testosterone but not in a healthy way. It overstimulates your brain, and over time, your body starts to struggle to keep up. You get used to that constant high, and real life things stop feeling as rewarding. This can mess with your natural hormone balance and lead to lower testosterone in the long run. So even though it gives you a short-term boost, it can actually weaken your body's ability to manage hormones properly over time. And stress. Stress is one of the main causes of male infertility. In one study, male rats that went through constant stress for 21 days lost body weight and had smaller reproductive organs and lower testosterone as well. But it's not all one-sided. Research also shows that short-term stress like the kind you get before the exam or a big event can actually cause a temporary boost in testosterone. However, this only happens up to a certain point. If the stress keeps going on for too long, the boost can turn into a drop. Also, your childhood environment can play a big role as well. If you grow up in challenging conditions with low nutrition, you might have lower testosterone compared to someone who has had a healthier environment. We see this a lot with immigrants moving to higher socioeconomic countries. 
and having higher level of testosterone and reaching puberty earlier.